Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about Bionanogenomics BNGO stock news, where we will discuss the future of BNGO stock, what their price targets and stock price predictions are, what their sales and revenues are looking like, when they will reach profitability, and if this stock could make you very wealthy in the future. Go and press the like button right now for more stock news and analysis. Comment what you think of BNGO stock down below. Turn on subscription notifications if you are new, and now let's make you some free money with Weeble. Weeble is a free brokerage app where you can buy and sell stocks, options, and cryptocurrencies. But right now, you can get two free stocks with Weeble. You can get the first free stock, which can be worth anywhere from $2 to $250 for just creating an account. And you can get a second free stock, which can be worth up to $1,600 if you invest $100 or more on your first deposit. You will have a 1 in 100 chance of getting stocks like Facebook, Starbucks, or Snapchat, and you have a 1 in 50 chance of getting stocks like Google or Procter & Gamble. To get this offer, just press on the link in my description box down below, but do it quickly because this offer will not last forever. And without further ado, let's get into today's stories. If you are looking for a life sciences stock that could make you a millionaire, Bionanogenomics BNGO stock should be on a watch list because of their revolutionary sapphire optical genome mapping system, which outperforms regular DNA sequencing machines. Just think, if you put $10,000 into a leading DNA sequencing company like Illumina, ticker symbol ILMN, you would have $1 million right now. So, can BNGO stock experience these same gains? Well, let's find out. The problem is that Illumina's technology has a flaw because they have to chop long strands of DNA to look over its pieces just to get proper results and then they have to stitch it back together. But this process causes them to miss lots of mutations, while the Bionanogenomics Sapphire system loves to analyze long strand DNA for structural variations. Another great genomic stock is Pacific Biosciences, ticker symbol PACB, and it's currently trading at $26 and 74 cents. Bionanogenomics was not the first to make optical genome mapping technology, but they are way ahead of any competition. Recently, BNGO shipped 11 of their Sapphire systems just in the first three months of 2021, which brings their total to 107. We clearly see that the adoption rate has increased for this technology, and the use of their consumables are growing rapidly because the company sold 2,603 flow cells just in the first quarter, which is a 275% increase year over year. Bionanogenomics normally sells to research institutions and not healthcare providers because they lack FDA approval, which we will talk about later on in the video. But once they do get FDA approval, the revenue should increase dramatically. According to their income statement, BNGO has a good amount of demand for their optical genome mapping technology, with the company spending $9.5 million on sales, administrative, and general expenses. But their revenues jumped 179% higher, which offset some of these expenses. Now, BNGO stock is going to be extremely volatile and I would not put it into a retirement account only because safe and low risk investments should be the only thing in there along with ETFs and indexes. But the good part about BNGO stock is that they have $370 million of cash and cash equivalents on their balance sheet while they are burning through cash at a rate of about $11 million annually. So this cash provides a cushion so that BNGO can continue to burn cash until they start making profits which we will project and calculate when exactly they will start to make profits later in this video. Currently, BNGO has price predictions of $10 as the low, $12 as the average, and $14 as the high for this year. And with the stock hanging out around $6.50 right now, there is some good potential upside to be made this year. Bionanogenomics is confident that their technology blows their competition out of the water because they can generate 4,400 gigabase pairs of information each day with a mistake rate of less than 2%. Plus, their technology technology is extremely fast and cheap compared to other systems that are on the market. Currently, Bionanogenomics can analyze up to 5,000 human samples per year at a price of around $500 each, which will eventually become cheaper by 2023 where the price could be below $100 per sample, which is a huge price reduction from their competition, which charges anywhere from $10,000 to $20,000. 
BNGO's Sapphire system is considered the gold standard now because it was indirectly compared to Pacific Bioscience, who I mentioned earlier, and their Hi-Fi system, which detected 72% of the large structural variations across 32 genomes. So not only is the Sapphire system better and more accurate at detecting large structural variants, they are also much cheaper. So why would you pay someone or pay for a system or a test that costs more but is less accurate? Now I like both of these companies but let's continue talking about BNGO stock which could be in trouble because it's estimated that their total addressable market is between 2.6 and 3.8 billion dollars and they already have a market cap of 1.87 billion but the good news is that the industry has a compounding annual growth rate of 19 percent until 2027 reaching a value of 25.5 billion dollars so we have to remember that this industry is still young and it's expected to have major gains which is why genomics ETFs like ARKG come in handy and could be extremely valuable in the future. Currently, Illumina holds around 70% of the DNA sequencing market, which generates them close to $3.3 billion in revenue with a PS ratio of 58, which is not good because a good PS ratio is something below 2. So this indicates that even successful companies like Illumina are struggling to generate revenues right now. Even with that being said, BNGO has a good growth strategy and a great relation with their industry because of how well their technology performs. Now, BioNanogenomics is doing good, but what should we expect from this stock and the company in the future? Well, considering that the Sapphire system is better at reading long-read gene sequencing that is offered by Illumina or PacBio, they do have a nice competitive advantage here, which is really nice, but I do wish that they had more technology to offer instead of just a single system system and some consumables. Right now, it would be great if BioNanogenomics was approved by the FDA so it can be used in a clinical setting because right now it is only designated for research use only. If BNGO can sell 10,000 Sapphire systems, that would be around a $2.1 billion market opportunity. But once the majority of institutions have this technology in this example, the main revenue source will need to switch to consumables, maintenance, and software. Currently, BNGO can last up to 8 years without making profits, but if their cash burn rate increases, which it's supposed to, it would decrease their buffer time to around 5 to 6 years. But lucky for us as investors, 2024 is the year that BNGO is expected to reach profitability, and by 2026, their revenues could be $480 million, with over $250 million of that being straight profits, on top of a reasonable PS ratio of 3.8. But what do you all think about this good news? Comment your thoughts down below, press the like button right now for more stock analysis, subscribe if you are new, and I will see all of you in the next YT video.